All right, now we're doing 8Q convert number to a reversed array of digits. This is by Emporio, and 91% of the people like it. Given a random non-negative number, we're going to return the digits of this number within an array in reverse order. All right, so this number will be reversed like this. Okay, so for this one, uh, let's start by turning this into concise syntax. We're going to say const digitize equals in and uh, then the rest of it is going to be an arrow, right? I'm going to say console.log here so it's easy to test while we go, and we'll get started. So first thing we got to do is we got to change this digit into a, a string so that we can put it in array form, all right? So we're going to use the string constructor, uh, when, and when we call it as a function, it, perform, it performs type conversion to a primitive string, right? So we're going to come down here, we're going to say string in, and let's see what happens. All right, so now it's in string form, I guarantee it. Uh, and so now what we're going to do is we're going to put this in an array. And for that, we're going to use this spread syntax, which uh, it allows an iterable such as an array or string to be expanded in places where zero or more arguments or elements are expected. So we're going to put this thing, wrap this up in an array and then put dot, 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 and it'll put every digit into its own uh, element, just like this. But now we've got to change these strings into digits again. So we're going to come over here, we're going to use the map method, and the map method creates a new array populated with the results of calling a provided function on every element in the calling array. So right here, uh, it's saying x, x times 2, and every one of these, uh, the x represents every one of these uh, elements in order. So x times 2 is going to have 1, 4, 9, and 16 turn into 2, 8, 18, and 32, all right? Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to say dot map. But since this is the number constructor, excuse me, since, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you about the number constructor. We're going to use the number constructor, which is just like the string constructor, uh, in that it performs type conversion to a primitive number, all right? So we're going to say uh, right here, number, in the map uh, method and because they're both like I think I don't know what the deal is there's like a symbiotic nature to it to where we don't have to say like e element uh, number element we could do this but since since uh, one of the properties of this thing is that we can just say number right there and it'll do it by itself right hopefully that makes sense see Right here, no longer uh, strings, they're all digits. So now that they're like this, we're just gonna use the reverse method, and that's just gonna reverse an array in place and return the reference to the same array, all right? So we're gonna say dot reverse, like this, and it'll take care of it, just like that. So let's get rid of this console.log business. Let's say test, there we go, and attempt it. And there we go. Submit it. All right. And you can see they pretty much did the same thing. They uh, did split instead of spread syntax, which, you know, you can do it if you want. Uh, same with the map. They did the map uh, with the number in the reverse. Uh, they did an array dot from where, you know, string in is the uh, length, I guess, and the number. I don't know. I've never done this with the array dot from. And then here's some more stuff, and then there we go. Uh, let's go to mine. Uh, here it is right here, a bunch of us right here. Best practice in my opinion, very much like it, and we'll see you next time.